Hello everyone, welcome to my channel by my dad Prachi. Today I am going to talk on one of the backbone department is CSSD. Long form of CSSD is Central Sterile Service Department. CSSD is a place in hospital or healthcare organization that performs sterilization and other actions on medical devices, equipments, instruments, consumables, surgical tools and surgical consumables. Disinfection and sterilization are essential for ensuring that medical and instruments do not transmit infectious pathogens to patients. So now what is sterilization? Sterilization is a process that kills all form of bacteria, disease, uh, fungi and viruses. Sterilization not only protects the patients but also medical professionals also. All the goods which needs sterilization come from all hospital department to CSSD for cleaning and disinfection. From the point of receiving the goods to the point of sending back material to the respective department, there is a process flow which involves different steps and different equipments for sterilization. One by one I will explain those steps and about machines used for sterilization. So very first thing is transport. Use supplies and instruments collected and take to the decontamination area in CSSD department. It is done in a way that avoids contamination of personal or any area of hospital. Things should be covered in moved in covered carts, closed tots and container or closed plastic bags. Second is cleaning. Under cleaning, there are steps like soaking, washing, inspection. So, first is soaking. If any instrument or surgical tool have lumen or complex design, then it can be filled with debris or if a devices are very bloody and cannot rinsed or wiped at the point of then soaking is done. Second is washing or disinfection. Detergent may be used for washing if it is compatible to instruments for that washer or de decontaminator are used. In that Ultrasonic machine is also used. It is used to remove fine soil from surgical instruments after manual cleaning. Next is inspection. All instruments are inspected critically for, for cleanliness. Instruments such as scissors, rogers, chisels, curettes, etc. are checked for sharpness. Hinged instruments such as clamps and forceps get, gets inspected for stiffness and alignment of jaws and teeth. After inspection, these materials get packaged before sterilization. For different kind of goods, different types of techniques of sterilization are used. First type is steam sterilization. We know that heat destroys microorganisms, but this process is hastened by addition of moisture. Only steam is not sufficient to, uh, for sterilization. Pressure greater than atmospheric is accompanied to steam which increases the temperature of steam for thermal destruction of microbial life. No living thing can survive direct exposed to saturated steam at 120 degree Celsius longer than 15 minutes and at 134 degree Celsius longer than 4 to 7 minutes. As temperature increase time may get decreased. Exposed time may vary according to type and size of load. At the end of cycle Revaporation of water condensate must effectively dry contents of cycle which maintains sterility of loaded things. Second type of sterilization is ethylene oxide. So guys there are some materials which are heat moisture sensitive. In that case ethylene oxide is used to sterilize the items also called as ETO. Ethylene oxide is a chemical agent that kills microorganisms including spores by interfering with normal metabolism of protein and reproductive process which results in death of cells. Ethylene oxide is, is used in gaseous state. It must have direct contact with surface of items to be sterilized. And ethylene oxide is highly flammable and explosive in air. It must be used in explosion proof sterilizing chamber in a controlled environment. ETO cycle takes longer time for sterilization than steam sterilization, typically 16 to 18 hours. Also, ETO is an expensive and toxic gas, but safe agent if handled properly. Then next is third type of sterilization is hydrogen peroxide plasma sterilizer. 
in this type of sterilization hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 is activated to create a reactive plasma or vapor plasma is a fourth state of matter distinguishable from solid liquid and gas it is produced through the application of strong electromagnetic field the cloud of plasma created consisting of ions electrons and neutral atomic atomic particles that produce a visible glow free radicals of h2o2 in a cloud interacts with membranes so any enzymes or microorganisms get killed materials and devices that cannot sustain heat or moisture are sterilized by plasma sterilization now you will think why to use plasma over eto there are some benefits using plasma over eto are plasma does not produce toxic fumes like eto no chemical residues after cycle like eto then safety of handling comparatively short aeration time than eto where eto takes 16 to 18 hours all these three sterilization techniques are very necessary and beneficial in healthcare sector doing sterilization of medical instruments equipments and consumable is beneficial in a way that it prevents the growth of disease present prevents the um, spread of disease and it also prevents double surgeries so thank you so much for watching till the end next time we will learn something new topic till that keep learning do your best bye bye